Hello, subscribers. Welcome to a live stream of AD&D's Champions of Kryn. So we're playing this Iron Man style. I think we're on part seven now. And... We're in a, I mean, we've never been this far on a live stream, so for Champions of Korean, I mean. So we'll see uh, if we can survive this city that we're in. Looks like it has some sub areas to it. And I'm playing this blind, of course. I'm not looking at a guide or anything, so I'm not really sure where we're at. Okay, let's see here. Hey, Bo, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Just wondering if I'd be streaming. Yeah. I tried to post over on the Discord a few minutes before I start my streams, but sometimes <laughs> I don't really... I did that tonight, 20 minute notes, but sometimes I have to do it so impromptu that's like, I'm streaming now. You're doing good? Glad to hear that. Uh, yeah, I am doing well. Thanks for asking. Okay, journal entry, page 31283. Kept. All right, where are we? Ah, yeah, we were in some weird town. I think we just killed, like, a gang leader or something. Yeah, we were told not to go in this room in the end. And we knew he was going to be there. Okay, so... Magic shop here is pathetic, so there's no point in going there. You hear a woman screaming from the northwest. Okay, that could be anywhere. From the west. Speaker door? No? Okay. Uh, swaggering mercenaries try to back off one random encounters so let's see if we can figure out how to get in this building you see a woman dragged into the building ahead by a band of minotaurs the warehouse is crawling with minotaurs screams can be heard echoing throughout the chamber what are these minotaurs doing back As long as there's no spellcasters, I am perfectly fine. <laughs> oh, looks like I did not memorize my spells from last time. Okay, we need to go do that. Yell. on three of them. Oh, you have a few fireballs. Ooh, that was a good fireball.
kill that one with a dart. They just killed two with darts. That's pretty funny. Seems like Mentors tend to surrender. You start killing them. Okay, all junk. Now I'm sure we're not gonna be able to rest here. Let's see if we can go back to the end real quick. Uh, can we run away? Ooh, we ran away, nice. Training hall, really? Oh, wow, we got a training hall in here. Glad I stumbled across that. Nice, we're ready for the knight to become level six. He got 12 hit points. And he has 16 constitution, so he rolled a 10. 10 on a 10 sided die. Oh, nice. Level three mage on hybrid, finally, or level five. Nice. It's got to be Fireball. Level 7 Mage. Now we can learn level 4 spells. So I'm pretty sure I have Fear and Dimension Door on a scroll. So we're going to get Ice Storm. That's the one I would have chosen anyway. Wow, that was a very productive trip to the training hall. That's the magic shop. No, I want the inn. Where's the inn? Here it is. Okay. Fear and Dimension Door. There we go. And. Ooh, just so I remember. Charm Monsters Fumble and Minor Globe of Invulnerability for the White Mage. And it looks like we don't have any bonus spell. Well, the white mage gets a bonus spell. Okay. That's good. Let's do two fireballs. Trouble. Do I have a detect magic? No, I need one of those. Person. Hybrid finally gets fireball. Okay. Hey, Reginald and says, Tam, welcome to the stream. How are you two doing? Reginald says, I'm a simple man. I see Fireball, I learn Fireball. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We all know it's completely overpowered compared to the other spells. We all know that, don't we? Okay, perfect. That just drastically increased our power. All right, 
let's go back to saving this woman since time kind of stands so some extremely drunk minotaur come crashing out of the tavern and run into you they are not pleased no casters just minotaur almost don't want to waste my fireball but also want to speed things up a bit Still playing Dwarf Fortress, says Tam. Reginald says, I've started Wizardry to new. I rolled a gadget here, and she feels pretty weak at the start. Well, cool. I'm glad you're playing again. Uh, yes, gadgeteers are probably the weakest class in the beginning. It isn't until they get to probably level... I'm going to say... Probably level eight or nine that they start becoming okay and then once you get them to like level 12 plus then they start becoming really strong yeah in the beginning they're very very bad oh you're playing dwarf fortress right now cool do you feel like you're getting a ton of value out of that game it says seems like you are Oh, what I mean is um, for the amount of money you pay to get it off Steam and the amount of times you get to like, play and restart, getting a lot of value from it that way. You find it relaxing. Oh, cool. Yeah, those are good, good types of games to have. Kind of how the Bard's Tale trilogy is. It's one of those games that you can kind of relax when you play it. There's times where it's very stressful, of course, but there's also times where you can just kind of relax. Got a good balance. Okay, since we didn't walk that far, let's go back. Rest again. I'm going to go ahead and cast this invisibility too. And pick up another one. Let's get another fireball. Okay. So, maybe we should go in here first. Tavern Keeper comes bustling up. Thank you for dealing with those nasty menthars. Drink up, it's on me. You hear Tavern Dale? Nah. Do you want something to drink? No. Then you must leave. Wow, that's gratitude for you. Alright, let's see if we can save this woman. Since time seems to stand still. We have to fight this again? That's kind of weird. Let's see here. One, two, three. Can I do that? 
do your own little fireball. Hybrids finally becoming useful. That was like a tickle fireball. We get a lot of experience for killing Minotaur. I have no idea why. They're not that difficult. Like, we fight things that are so much harder than those, and we don't get hardly any experience. It's very strange. Okay. Let's see if we can find this woman. I hear a muffled scream from the so southern corridor. Minotaur's attack. Junk. Okay, I guess you can't. Oh, Lee. I didn't even participate. Okay. Fine. So we can't rest here. Fine with that. They have pretty good magic resistance, obviously. Saving throw, I mean. There we go. Let's go grab one of them. Yo. Hey, Helger, welcome to the stream. How are you? You were cowed into submission <laughs> yeah they are like cows aren't they too lazy to equip other ranged weapons I'll throw a magic missile at it Okay, we won't rest. We'll just keep on moving. You spot a young woman in cell to the south. Okay. These are arranged kind of weird. So we're going to move you up here. And you're just going to yell. Do your kinder annoying yell.
Lots of bloops. It's funny that you can throw three darts even as a mage. They're like ninjas. Minotaur is coughing. Is this one helpless? Yeah. All right, we'll equip sling. Nice. Wow, he passed his saving throw three times. Wait. Is this magic? Take the 11. Yeah, it's a plus one. Okay. Surrenders. All right. All junk. See the woman you were trying to rescue in the alcove to the south. Woman gasps her thanks, reaches into her bodice, slips on a ring, and disappears. You hear her say, meet me at the end of the south pier. I must hurry. You're left in silence. South pier. Okay. sure where that would be considered this one here this up here you see the woman whom you rescued appeared before you she explains that Lorena sent her to investigate the rise of evil in sanction journal entry 88 let's see just before the temple of dirt Dur Durghast was closed. Dead bodies were seen being carried into the arena in the temple's northwest corner. There were hundreds of them. It has been discovered that the Death Knight, Sir Lebom, has taken over the temple and has gathered together exhumed dead for miles around. There is no way that you can get into the temple through the front gates. You must get the Shadow People's support. They have tunnels that cross the temple of Hurzid to the temple of Durgast. She pulls out an amulet. This amulet will let you through a secret door. The shadow people will find you once you enter Hurzid. Okay. Okay, so I guess we want to go to Here's It. The secret entrance is in the first building to the south of the warehouse where you found me. It's in the southeast corner of the back room. Okay. Better take a screenshot of this. All right. 
I found this. It may be significant for you. Journal entry 19. Let's see. The Dragon Lance was a stroke of genius. With one small theft, we distracted them from the main threat and forced their attention on the recovery of the weapon. This became stage two. <clears throat> Since it fit so neatly <clears throat> with our plans, it allowed us to delay the original kidnapping of Sir Carl just long enough to gather many more bodies for Sir Lebon to work with. All right. We're going to be abusive. <laughs> it didn't work. I feel like no matter what you say, the Minotaur is attacked. I'll just kill him. You want to fight? Give you a fight. And then we'll go train. See if anybody can train. And we'll see if we need to rest for sure. And then we'll try to go in that secret entrance, I guess. Kind of feel like we're really low level. Almost makes it sound like we're kind of close to the end of the game based on what she was saying there. I don't think that's probably true, but... I need to do another fireball. That was weak. some darts. We do this room too. spells uh let's make it a full red moon there we go we get our bonus spells gosh we could get three ice storms but i think fireballs more useful how we can get four <laughs> i should probably get a haste too but the problem when you don't use a guide is you don't know what's coming I mean, we can cast haste in combat, but you're using up a whole round to do that. Plus, you can't really bunch. It's hard to bunch all your characters into one spot. They have to be 10 foot away. Yeah. Just get our fireball. Okay. So we'll go to the training guild real quick. I 
is that? It's been over here. There we go. Yes, level seven ranger. Let's take a look here. 71 hit points, 80, so nine. 18 constitution, they get an eight die, eight side die. Roll the five on an eight sided die. That's not bad. It's not great, but not bad. Level seven cleric. We may get fourth level spell finally. He did not get many hit points. Okay, we better go back and see if we can get a fourth level spell now. Hey, Hom, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Do a little stream watching at the moment. Oh, that's hard to do. Yeah, I was watching Kiffer, I think. Buck Rogers. Yeah, we finally get a fourth level spell. We get neutralized poison. Or I can get cure serious. Well, I better get poison. And then we can get rid of slow poison. And get another hold. Now, does the ranger. Oh, the ranger still doesn't get a spell. I guess it's on eighth level. Maybe it starts getting druid. Giffer's not done yet. Wow, he's doing a long stream tonight, isn't he? Let's see. How do I do that? Let me see if I can give him a shout out. Shout out. Is it just Kiffer? No, it's Kiffer Geo. There we go. Okay. Kiffer's from Ireland. He just streams a lot of older games right now. He's playing Buck Rogers. Very entertaining. Okay. See if we can find this building to the south. It makes it sound like it's this building right here. There it is. Amulet glows, revealing the secret entrance. Yes, we go through it. A creaking, swinging wall opens into the dank, oppressive quiet of the Temple of Herzid. The temple is a crumbling ruin. Dust swirls up at your passing. There are draconian footprints in the deep dust. They look fairly recent. We can do an area view. That's good news. Off of this hallway are many cells that used to be occupied by the monks and priests of Hirzid. They have long since abandoned. I don't know if I should be searching or not. Okay, looks like there's random encounters, so I'll have to turn search mode off. Oh, these are new. Cybex, I don't know what those do. Apex, Paralyze, and these, Bozax, Cast. Hmm. They're in kind of an awkward position here. I think I'm going to move my mage here and lightning bolt here. Maybe there. I don't want it to bounce and hit me. That's the problem. I don't think lightning bolt's good. One, two, three. Try a stinking cloud right from here. Hey Jimmy, welcome. How are you doing? Yeah, I know <laughs> Jimmy's over in Kiffer's stream too. I was watching it earlier. Uh oh, begins casting. It's not good. Okay, he didn't bounce it. He did not bounce lightning bolt, so that's a good thing. Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's go ahead and yell. And since she got hit this round, she's not going to be able to cast. It's okay. We can kill someone with some darts. Let's just do that. Jimmy says, yeah, once you started streaming, I knew it was safe to convince Kiffer to cheat. <laughs> That's funny. I don't mind cheating. I mean, I don't do it, but I don't care if others do it. So these two aren't held. I just need to hit that one in the back. So far, I don't know what these Civex do. Are these the ones that explode, maybe? I thought, no, I think the casters explode. Well, we're going to find out. Yeah, the Bozak explodes. Civex just go down, so I don't know what their deal is. They have different powers. Some are defensive, I think. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what they do. So far, I haven't seen anything that makes it look like they have any offensive thing. Hopefully they don't do something dumb like level drain. Six hundred thirty-nine experience. That's some money. All right, let's do a quick test and see if we can actually rest in this place. My guess is no. We did. I'm glad I was wrong. Okay. Counter patrol. The manual might give distinctions, Jimmy says, but I could be thinking of the clue book. <laughs> I do have the regular manual. I'm not looking in the clue book. Let me look in the regular manual. Let's see. Does it mention Civex? It does. It says they are created from silver dragon eggs and are the only draconians that can truly fly. Civex are shapeshifters. They are powerful fighters who get three attacks per round. So that's their deal. They just get a bunch of attacks. Well, that's okay, because straight damage is so much easier to deal with than the paralyzed instant death attacks. Those are the really annoying ones. Okay. Using our weapons left and right. Jimmy says, I usually have both open when I watch these gold box streams.
Actually, got that one. Okay, before I forget, let's equip the correct weapon. Yeah. Okay. Jimmy says, I know some are either totally immune to magic or can't be targeted or some other annoying thing. Hmm, I have not run across those yet. Reginald says you've got a guy with minus five armor class. I bet he isn't super concerned about three APR enemies. Um, yeah, Sir Sirius is... He's in pretty good shape. So minus five translates to minus 25% chance for the enemy to hit. So... Minus 25% on three attacks. That's pretty good. Plus he has pretty good hit points. 77 max. Okay, let's see. I'm just making sure there's not something... I always waste time. Just want to make sure it wasn't treasure or something I was missing. Okay, casters. Anyway, let's hit those first. Nice. Yeah, the guy gets three attacks, but never seems to hit, so I wonder what his Thaco is. Ooh, they all made their magic resistance roll here. Killed by darts. Okay. So that room was a total waste of time. That big room obviously has got to be something, right? This room, this room here. See if we can figure out how to get in there. Bash. There are many statues lined up against the northern end of the room. Okay, let's cast something here. Let's do a prayer. Bless. The inscription on the statue reads, Kiri Joleth, Majre. Oh, those are gods. Paladine, you encounter a patrol. So they're talking about gods. Okay, no casters here, so th this will be an easy one. I don't think I'm even going to waste any spells.
I'm finally getting hits in. Out of darts. <laughs> Mage is tearing him up. Guess we should see what's in this room. Let's just do a fix. There we go. Rule book, page four. Character status one. Okay. You see the glint of something shiny in the far reaches of the room. A cloud of gas envelops the party. And then we get 2,800 experience. Lots of money. A shield and a red magic user scroll. Thank you. We'll take. Robin. Plus, minus two. Minus two. Oh, it is a plus one shield. So he already has a plus one shield? Okay. Let's give it to hybrid then. It's two. Oh, he has a shield plus two. Then Sir Sirius is getting it. It's five. Minus six. Sir Sirius is minus six. Six. I'm tempted to give him the plus two shield, then I'll have minus seven. Hybrid probably needs it more, though. Yeah, hybrid just the hit points are too low. Okay. Sweet. Let's see. Let's memorize read magic. Let's see what's on the scroll. Mirror image, we already have. Shocking grasp, sinking cloud, we already have. Wow, we can learn shocking grasp. <laughs> Is that even worth learning? I think hybrid, let me look. Oh, he's a white mage. I have two white mages and one red, okay. Well, if we get in a bind and we get hit in combat, we can still do a stinking cloud or a mirror image. So that's that could be useful. All right, let's memorize. You can missile again. Special spells one. Let's bless. Rudely interrupted. Was a bad stinking cloud. Let's go ahead and yell. Didn't work.
It's interesting about Stinking Cloud. Every round, every round it retests if they're going to cough or not. First round, his magic resistance made it where he didn't even have to test his saving throw. And then the second round there, his magic resistance failed, so he started coughing and boosted his armor class by four. Cleric will take this one out. Let's try that again. There we go. All right. So let's see what's in this other room. See a strange figure in the mists ahead. You get a strong feeling that he wants you to meet him in the east. Hear a soft rustle of movement. Time to bless, time to pray. Nothing in there. Okay, I don't see where he went. It's kind of weird. There's nothing in here. What? Okay. Well, I guess we'll try to make our way over this direction. This is supposedly east. The secret entrance wasn't much of a secret, was it? Name both these. Hopefully, we'll get a uh, lightning bolt that goes eight instead of four. You never know what you're going to get. Good. We got a bounce. And he resisted both. He resisted both the direct hit and the bounce. What is their magic resistance? Hey River, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Game's going great. We are doing well. Problems on your end? Well, that's good. Another day in paradise. <laughs> good. Okay, hybrid. Took a beating there. Let's get him healed up. So we're in the east now. Attacked by draconians. Ooh. 
One, two, three. That looks good. That was a good fireball. Nice. Don't really want to lose this, so let's do this. Resisted it. Holy moly. Wow, that guy's magic resistance is ridiculous. Let's equip her longsword plus two again. Find some papers. Journal entry 37. From out of the depths of the room, a strange figure appears. The amulet glows a soft brown. Without any apparent sound, you hear the strange figure reveal itself as a shadow person. It says that you can now go through the secret door that is located at the northern end of the hallway this leads into a large room the entrance to the caverns is in the upper left corner of the west hall of that room follow the corridor from there until you find the door the conclave will then meet with you okay so northern room west wall of that room okay All right, so I don't know if she's talking about this room itself. Guess not. Here it is, okay. And then in the north, or in the west corner, there it is. Okay, success. You've come across a conclave of shadow people. They have been waiting patiently for your arrival. Again, images and words form in your mind. You are told to go down a long, cavernous passage. The entrance is through the door to the south. 
Passage is free of any evil creatures. However, there are many Mobats that also live in these caves. You'll have to deal with them yourselves. You will come upon a door to your right. You may rest there. Eventually, you will meet the ancient revered one. He will give you further information. Okay. So a door on the right. I guess this is where we could rest. Which we don't need to do right now. Does yeah, we have everything memorized. Mobats. Two mo two mobats, that's it. Okay. Three Mobats this time. Oh boy. Very strong presence fills this room. There's nothing else in here that you can see. Your mind becomes filled with images again. The way to the Dragonlance is imprinted on your mind. Seems to lie in the south central area of the dungeons to the west of here. Journal entry 63. Sixty-three. Oh, wow, okay. Take a screenshot of this, too. Okay. Presence becomes extremely agitated and angry. A new, more ominous image forms in your mind. A death knight is directing his minions and placing hundreds of bodies in the arena of Durgast. The images fade to nothingness as the death knight seems to turn towards you. Chamber presence slowly dims. Okay, it's treasure. Bracers, magic user scroll, and a potion. So you have Bracers Armor Class 6. Let's see if it's better than that. No, it's not. And you already have 
Bracer is better than that, I believe. Okay. Nano person directs you to the door to the south. Can I rest here? Nope. Shadow people come by and politely request that you rest in the common area. <laughs> That's okay. We don't need to rest. You've entered the dungeons of Durghast. The walls are covered with mold and insects. Okay, this does not look like the map that I looked at. Let me look again. Okay, I think I do see what they're talking about. The way they draw the walls in this area view doesn't match the uh, journal entry. But I think I see what it is. According to this, I think we should go... No. Looks like we're going to get encounters on the way. Uh... Get the casters. Probably should try to conserve my spells here. Just hit this one with a missile. There we go. I think you just guard. Cough, cough. Hey, Kiffer. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Ah, thank you so much for the raid. You have arrived. All right. So how did it go? Did you have any reloads? Or do, was it smooth going tonight? <laughs> That was a longer stream than normal for you, right, Kipper? Got some good clips and even some audio ones tonight. Nice. Kipper says we had one when Buck turned coward and left us to fight the boss. <laughs> uh Buck Buck Rogers. Why did he have to be a coward? Oh, that's one way now. Okay. Can I do a fix? Probably not. Uh let's try to go here and do a fix. Okay, nice. Nice. 
So according to this, the dragon lance should be this direction. A band of fighters approaches. One of them is saying, why did Skyla send us down here? Ain't nothing back here but the old prisoner, and he's almost dead. They see you and stop. You hear a whispered, that's why, idiot. Attack, flee, parlay, parlay. The leader asks what you're doing here. We'll be sly. The scrape of steel pulled from scabbards reveals the guard's reaction. Okay. Fine. Sly didn't work. Tom says he cheated, of course, Steve said. <laughs> and Jimmy says Buck looking out only for number one. <laughs> yeah. With his gun. His gun. Geo said, or Kipper says, we tried to fight the pirate captain. It was ill-advised. <laughs> That's funny. Did the game actually tell you that? Did it say, uh, you may not want to do this? Or was some manual that you read telling you that? Stinking cloud. How about right here? That looks good to me. How about a whole person? One dart. Mage has one whole dart. <laughs> that guy got hit walking into the stinking cloud. And then he is nauseous. That That's a bad day for that poor guy. Kipper says, the game said, you sure you want to do this? And we said, yes. So he said, this is suicide and ran away before the fight. <laughs> so in other words, Buck Rogers actually has some brains. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Jimmy says Buck was using us to run interference while he ran to the escape pod. But to me, it sounds like Buck's actually smart. <laughs> he knew not to do that. He's like, okay, uh, it's amateur hour. See you guys later. <laughs> that is pretty funny, though. He just leaves you. <laughs> okay. Hey, Bo, thank you so much for subscribing. You've been an eight-month supporter here on Twitch, and I know you've supported me way longer than that on YouTube and Patreon, but thank you very much for subscribing on here, too. Appreciate that. Okay, fix. Yes, fix worked. Oh, copy protection. Rule book page four. Viewing characters seven. Screen. All right, we're supposedly close to the Dragonlance according to the journal entry I'm looking at. Let's see, it shows. Okay, shadow person stands in the corner. He seems extremely frightened. Frenek, disjointed images bombard your mind. Finally, one image comes in strong. Skyla, no, not this guy again. The so-called escort from Jellic is going into a room and preparing his soldiers for battle. Shadow person warns you that your presence is probably known. Tells you that the room beyond the one that Skyla is in contains magical weapons and armor. 
Okay. So, I don't know if it's this room right here, but let's cast at least Prayer and Bless. Ah, Bo! You gifted a sub as well. Thank you so much. It went to Sever. Sever's on here. Hey, Sever, welcome. <laughs> he must be lurking. Thank you very much, Bo. I appreciate it. Yeah, this darn Skyla. Oh, man. Okay. But maybe we'll get to kill him finally. That, that'll be nice. That will be really nice. I don't have any other spells I can cast as, as buffs. I do have some potions, though. Let me look. I don't know what this is. It might be a potion of haste, but I don't know that, so I'm not going to waste it. Potion of speed. Okay. I am going to use this. We're going to give this to Sir Sirius. So he can tear things up. Anybody else have a potion of haste? I don't think so. I don't think he would have dragons. I mean, I could use this potentially, but... Gosh, would there be a dragon in there with him? I really don't know. I don't have invisibility. I normally have that spell memorized, but I haven't been using it lately because I didn't need it. So I don't have it memorized, and I don't want to rest. Unless I have it on a scroll. I do have this I could cast. Yeah, let's do this one. Cast it on Sir Sirius. And we could do Mirror Image on the Mage. Let's do that. Okay. I don't know how hard this battle is going to be. So according to... The guide, the dragon lance should be over this direction. This is a richly furnished room. As you examine it, you realize it reminds you of the fragment images that shadow people gave you. Okay, should be right in here. That's a cool graphic. Shameful. <laughs> It's shameful that I don't have it, I know. This is actually kind of weak. So let's yell. Kipper says, oh, the other issue we had was we lost 15,000 experience from overleveling. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, that's a really annoying problem in the gold box games. I don't want to lose this, so we're going to equip this. Okay. I feel like I even need to cast anything here. I guess we could do a magic missile. Hey, Sever! Welcome! You were gifted a sub, in case you don't know, by Bo. In case you were away from the keyboard. Jimmy says, how does 5th ed edition handle over leveling? Does it get any better later? I don't know anything about the 5th ed edition, Jimmy. My knowledge of Dungeons & Dragons stops with the 2nd edition. I didn't play anything after that. So maybe someone in the chat could tell you. Turn undead. Nothing happens? Really? You didn't... Oh, that's why. They're skeletal knights. They're not just regular skeletons. Okay. I'll give you a pass on that one. <laughs> so, we can equip the long sword plus two again to hit this one. And we missed. Uh, 
Let's save our spells. Because I don't know what the next battle is going to be like. We'll do one more magic missile. Giver says, DM says, have a level and we get a level. Bo says, same. Sever, thanks, Bo. Kiffer, then we start complaining that we need another level. <laughs> yeah. And Helga says, you have tools at your disposal to control advancement? I'm not sure what you mean. Milestones are the most direct, and they have a benefit of actively discouraging the murder all approach. Okay, gotcha. Giver says, but even if you used experience, you wouldn't have the over leveling problem because there's no training. Yeah, that's true. He's talking about fifth edition. Oh, we can't even try to turn again. Uh, I think I am going to do a stinking cloud here. They're bunching up real nicely for me. Let's see, one, two, three. Okay, you first. Ogre says, when killing every monster doesn't pay off with extra experience, you no longer benefit from casual murder or unnecessary combats as part of an attempt to overgrind. Kiffer says, true. Yeah, in second edition, though, you get more experience from just finding gold, which is kind of goofy. You just walk into a room where there's gold, and you get way more experience. That encourages hoarding. Encourages gluttony. What's better, gluttony or violence? <laughs> okay, these I am gonna magic missile. Hard time hitting them. You do have a mace. Oh, level plus one, there we go. They'll do normal damage. Long sword plus two, still good enough. And you do mace, full damage. Jimmy says, what about the loot you're missing out by not murdering? The yeah, there you go. That's that's a good point, Jimmy, because you get more experience from the gold of the monsters you kill. So you could just kill a bunch of normal, like, peasants, find their gold, and make tons of experience. <laughs> I think there's a flaw in the logic. <laughs> yeah, you get money. You get experience for money. Not, not even equipment. Just the money itself. Very strange rule. Okay, are any of these magical? No, they're not. Okay. Now, can I do a fix command here? I can. Oh, it didn't last. Doggone it. Well, at least it's not too many. Reginald says Pool of Radiance does some of that. You fight 50 hobgoblins and get 25 experience. 
Walk into a room, you get 500 because of treasure. Yeah, exactly. And Helker says, 5th edition basic gear, typically worthless unless it's exceptional condition. Also, wealth does not generate XP. Yeah, that sounds like a much better solution, Helgra. Where you don't get experience just for money. It does kind of make it entertaining, though. That you do get experience for gold. It's just so gluttonous. I'll have to equip my better weapons again. Instead of the mace, we want the long sword plus one. There we go. Hugger <laughs> says, now that said, Milestone system is a DM discretion, so if they really want to track every monster experience old school style, they can. Minotaurs have good saving throws, that's all I can say. Okay, let's try this fix one more time. There we go. Now, this supposedly is where the Dragon Lance is. So I'm really scared that what I'm about to face is going to be hard. Draconians are guarding the Dragon Lance. They immediately attack. Okay, this is not that big of a deal. Uh, here's what we're going to do. Stinking Cloud here. Perfect. You're out of stinking clouds, but we can do a lightning bolt. Let's see. There. Got to be a little careful with that, though. Hmm. This wall is causing an issue with me being able to bounce that lightning bolt in a good way. It's too dangerous. Can't do it. It's too dangerous. Uh, let's hit this one. Okay. This one's beginning to cast. Okay, good. For this round, they have all lost their turn. Mages, Bozaks, and Savex. Yeah, the K-Packs are the uh, casters. Plus, they explode when you kill them. So, let's kill this one. No, let's kill this one. He'll kill the one next to him, probably. No, he did one damage. Okay, that one went down. Got one more to hit. There we go. That one's helpless, helpless. Perfect. Yeah, 
this wasn't the room that had Skyline in it. That's... Yeah, he's not coming back. Let's hit him with the... Back. Nope. He's just going to cower until we shoot him down. I don't want to approach him because they can paralyze. There we go. Okay. <laughs> there it is. The Footman's Dragon Lance. Okay, that's really weird that that was how easy it was to get that. Cloak and a ring. Okay, 1d8 plus 11. One D eight plus fourteen. They go six. Holy moly. They go dropped by five. That's crazy good. So the shield is going no, he has a hoop pack. That is a plus one shield, so I don't think I have a use for that. Longsword plus two can go to Robin. Okay, and then hybrid already has a longsword plus one. That's fine. Okay. Already gains experience. That was very anticlimactic. I expected more than that. That was very strange. I missed some message. This out. Demonic Vortex Oni and C Smith, thank you very much for the follows if you're still on here. Appreciate that. And somehow I screwed up my chat. There we go. Okay. Hopefully we can rest here now, right? Where the dragon lance was found. I do need a read magic to See, detect magic, hold person, prayer. You can do read magic. Because I know I have a scroll. Stinking cloud protection for me. <laughs> Never going to memorize that one. Okay, I think we're good. So now, I guess we try to find Skyla? So there's some rooms here that we haven't gone in. We haven't gone to the south. And it looks like there's one over here. Let's see what's over here. Nothing. And then here, it's nothing. Let's try this one. Empty rooms. Monsters attack.
kind of disappointed that I didn't have got to kill uh, Skyla yet. Put men's dragon lance. Seems easier to just do a fixed command to get hit points back than to try to get, spend the time memorizing again. Less chance of an encounter. I wonder what this lance does against large creatures. 15? That's kind of disappointing. I would have assumed it did more against larger creatures. Really didn't do that much. Yeah, that's kind of lame. I've done 15 three times now. Oh yeah, and I did find a cloak. Hold on a minute. Minus six, so that's a cloak of displacement. Now the ring. Uh, let's see if it's a protection ring first. Request two, three with that. That's a plus two ring of protection. Cool. And you already have one? Yeah, you already have one. Okay. Actually, rings of protection do work if you're wearing normal armor. I forgot about that. So, well, almost all these guys are wearing normal armor. Let's see, Robin. Yep. Perfect. Sisters attack. Use those yeah, skeletal knights. Turn. Nice. Got rid of those. I don't want to lose the footman dragon lance. Second, guys, I gotta let my dog out. Right back.
one sorry about that let's see we got one left to kill please and panic Use a sling. Okay. Let's re equip. Those are such a pain because they pull your weapon away. At least the game could re equip it for you. No. Make sure you manually do it. Okay. Monsters attack. Wow. That's a lot. I think I will spend a fireball here. There. Yep. Fireball City. That speeds it up just a tad. Loses his weapon. Punch it. That's where I came from, wasn't it? Pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. You've made it to the Temple of Durghast. Unfortunately, this entrance is not unknown to the present inhabitants. Two damage, a little bit of overkill. Six damage, one hit point. Six command worked. Cash. I don't want to take a chance of resting. 
You hear the distant sounds of trumpets. The good armies have arrived at the sanction. Go oh, good guys. You hear metallic scrapes and muffled curses coming from the door on the east wall. Okay. Somebody's mad. Maybe it's Skyla. Can we kill him finally, please? Yes, it's Skyla. A familiar face looms up before you. You are surrounded by men pulling on armor and getting ready for battle. Skyla grins with evil delight. So, he sneers, we meet again. Thank you for delivering the information that will lead our armies into our trap. Oh, you didn't know that? Too bad. Even now, Sir Le Lee Baum is creating the undead army that will fall upon your forces. And now I'm afraid that your usefulness is going to end. Goodbye. Okay, that's what you think, Skyla. Where are you? There he is. He only has 23 hit points. Wow, what a, what a lame guy. And then we're fighting some enchanters with armor class 10? What the? That's so bad. Evil priests. They're probably the most dangerous. Lightning bolt. I think there's a lightning bolt with Skyla's name on it. Let's see if I can get positioned. This guy a little punk. He is. He's about ready to get zapped. If he fails the saving throw, he's going down. He didn't. Dang. It's okay. Now he's getting a fireball. Let's see here. One, two, three. Right there. Let's take him down with a magic missile. He's killed. We killed him. It wasn't even a goes down, it's just he's killed. experience okay we have to see if any of this is magical darts I can use those nothing magical really you find Skyla's orders record them journal entry 61 you'd think you would have been a little tougher than that 61 I want you to find the adventurers and put them out of our misery. They have served their purpose. Now I'm afraid they may find some way to get word to the good armies. Eliminate that threat. Yeah, they made a mistake choosing Skyla as the one to do it. All right, is there anything in here? This room contains weapons and armor. Light mail, shield, longsword, mace. Okay, let's check all this out. So you take the plate mail, the shield. I'm going to class minus two. Movement of six. That's just because you're carrying so much. So that's plate mail plus one. 
Drop the band of mail. Shield. That's a shield plus two. That will go to Robin. Plus three. Should become minus four. Yep. And now let's check the weapons. That's a plus three longsword and a plus two mace. Okay, cool. So you'll keep that equipped. And then we'll pass the plus two longsword over to the other guy. Uh, let's see. Hybrid. Nice. And... Give him the club plus one, two. This looks like a safe place to rest. Thank you. Less detect magic, old person. Prayer, stinking cloud, fireball. This has been a very successful run tonight. Okay, anywhere else to go here? I think we're done. You find a package of graves and tobacco? It is wrapped with an official looking document. Document orders all eggs to be taken out of taken to the southwestern outbuilding for processing. Okay. Well, let's go to the southwest. Ooh! Wow, that's a cool portrait. See a cache of silver dragon eggs through the arch arch to the west. Blue dragons burst from the room at your approach. Okay then. 50 hit points, there's two of them. 70! The dragon lance just did 77 damage. <laughs> wow. That's ridiculously strong. Okay, let's try Stinking Cloud on it. Starts to cough. Let's spread out so they can't bounce lightning at us. He breathed on hybrid. It didn't kill him. Bandage immediately. 77 damage again. Okay, let's go cure. So he gets experience for this battle. Positive hit points? Yep. Okay. Thirty two hundred experience. One sapphire misspelled. It's a sapphire. One sapphire. Okay, congratulations. Party gains experience. Rule book page one. 
Introduction for It's official. So, does that mean we destroyed the eggs or something? Like, didn't really say anything. You see dead bodies being taken to the arena to the north. Okay. Maybe that's where we need to go. You hear horrifying groans coming from the doors to the north. Yeah. Let's get a little prepared for this. I think that's all I have. Good enough. See piles of bodies covering the floor of the arena. There is a flash from above. Some of the corpses come alive. Tools? Gas. Okay. Cleric is not impressed. Oh, you try to turn again. There we go. 481 experience. So, do we just wander around in here or do we just leave? So we just leave. A Death Knight and his Minotaur guards burst through the door. The Death Knight murmurs, Skyla will pay. He orders draconian messengers to Kernan to warn Mertani of survival. He turns to deal with your threat. Wow. So we're fighting a death knight? Okay. I thought that was supposed to happen on death knights of Kryn. Let's see what he looks like. I can't get close enough. Let's do... Stinking cloud here. Okay, now we can see 63. Of, it's Sir Lee Bomb? Really? We're fighting Sir Lee Bomb already? That's kind of surprising. And he looks like magic missile didn't work on him. Can we turn him? That's, that's certainly not going to work, right? We don't want to even try because if we turn him and he he isn't destroyed, throws a fireball. What? <laughs> he threw a fireball as like it's not a big deal. Throws fireball. Okay, so I'm guessing lightning won't work on him. Uh. Do I have anything that would maybe work? I should probably do this, <laughs> although I want to be able to describe that later. Let me get out of range. Let me just see if he has magic resistance. Yes, he just has magic resistance. Oh, Robin's forced to flee. That was a bummer. Magic Missile goes pretty far. Let's go down here. Gassed Gates in? Sir, 
Sir Sirius is terrified. Who went down? Oh, Robin's dead! Doggone it! Sir Sirius is paralyzed. He's done. Have to hit him. I need to try to turn though. Okay, we at least turn the gas. Reflects the spell? What? Okay, finally. Wow. But unfortunately, one of our characters is dead. We'll have to haul him back to the temple. <laughs> Reginald says, uh oh, I don't remember this part. I don't either. Wow. That was a hard fight. Let's see. I can't get close enough without getting hit here. One, two, I can cast one up here. I really don't want to get close with you. Surrenders, okay. 2100, okay. So that guy was so much harder than all the other enemies I fought, and we get 2100 experience. They just do not know how to balance. And we found some wands. They do not know how to balance experience in this game. Magic two-handed sword and two wands. Party gains experience. The messenger he dispatched are tearing down the stairs. Okay. We need to try to do a fix command here. Rudely interrupted. We're down a whole character. Tom says at least he will have some good loot, right? But that's the last thing I want to see tonight. <laughs> okay. So, too bad. We don't want to hit these with the lance because I, I could end up losing it. Hit them with the broadsword. Actually, this one we can punch because he's helpless. And this will be okay because I have a longsword plus two still. Hom says, I will go to sleep now. Have fun, guys. Okay, Hom, have a good night. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty much done. Once this battle's done, I think I'm done for the night. That was uh, pretty, pretty crazy. I did not expect that. Just punch him. in these so that we don't lose our weapons. I hate when you have a guy that's dead and he's he misses out on all the experience.
Punch, punch, punch. Okay. Yeah, we'll save it here. Wow. That was a fun run. Very productive. And I have next time I'll figure out how to get that guy resurrected. I really don't know where I'm at, so. So thanks for watching. Bo, thanks for the subscriptions again. And Kiffer, thanks for the raid. I'll see y'all next time.